Gemini. June 24th to the 30th for Gemini. Let's see what you are up to, Geminis. Okay, Gemini, so in the past, hmm, uh, someone offered you love or you offer love to someone, but this love offer is surrounded by um, burdens, by depression, anxiety, so I think you were you were probably in this place with someone where things were pretty shaky, pretty hard uh, and you either both try to make it work or one of you decided to put in some more effort to push the, those burdens away and it did eventually leave you in a place where you felt very, very sad and depressed and anxious and um, very defeated. In the present, you could be dealing with a Taurus or you might have Taurus in your chart or you might be a cusper. Um, In your present, things look pretty stable, pretty equal, pretty balanced. Um, although you may be single, there's, there's balance here. There's equal give and take. There's sharing with people, with possibly family, friends, whoever you're sharing your energy or resources with. Um, and there's, in the middle of the reading, in your present, there's the, the King of Pentacles, which um, represents a Taurus or an Earth sign. Um, but that could be your energy, where you feel very stable, very grounded, uh, very knowledgeable. Um, you could be in a very empowering position. And you feel very secure in your home life. I don't know if it's with somebody else. As I said, the Nine of Pentacles usually re refers to a um, single person here. Um, in your future, you may want to study for something or learn something new that's going to bring you stability. I see it starting off pretty stagnant, pretty... Uh, there's a little bit of a, a stagnancy here where you may be thinking of something that brings you uh, joy in your life in the sense of work like you're looking for a some sort of meaningful kind of job maybe maybe you're thinking of opening a new business and um, I see you doing that. I see you starting to plant the seeds for that but I see you also working for it in the sense of knowledge, of gaining more knowledge, gaining more, um, there's some sort of feeling of education here where you need to study something. Uh, so whatever you're thinking of for the future, it involves that, um, you needing to study for it to make it happen. Um, let's... Let's see what happened in the past here a little. I don't really like to touch the past. Uh, 
too much because what's in the past is in the past, but it feels like there's a lot going on in there. Nine of Pentacles is coming up again. I think you actually had that stability in your life and in your present, it's looking like you're coming back to it slowly but surely. Um, you've got the Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles clarifying the um, Nine of Pen Nine of Wands here, which is talks about burdens. Um, <clears throat> So I feel like hmm, I think there was something that um, this love came into your life in the past while you were in a very good place for yourself. You were working hard at you know creating this stable, uh, grounded kind of life. And, you know, you were doing your thing and it was working for you. And I think um, this soulmate uh, came in offering love, but it may have ended in, um, it may have ended bad. So let's see if that's the case. It may have ended bad for your person for some reason, not for you necessarily. But let's um, let's figure that out if we can. Okay. Uh, somebody couldn't make up their mind about something. And it brought in this tower moment and back to the Ten of Swords. Somebody was uh, unable to make a decision and because of it somebody left and they left quick. Nobody waited around for, you know, you either want me or you don't, but take your time, you know. Take, take like a whole lifetime to see what's going on here. Um, so somebody left and they left fast or justice was brought to the situation very, very fast. And it left somebody very, very sad and depressed and not knowing where to go. It might be you, it might be your person. Um, but given that your current energies look pretty stable and grounded, I think it may be your person. So. I want to clarify for your future. In the present, everything looks balanced. Everything looks pretty great for you. You're in a good place from what it's showing. But I want to see in the future, there's a little bit of discontent in here. And I want to see what that's about. And I think that's going to be a little bit of a period where you're thinking. You're going to be thinking and um, about... You know, how can I improve this? How can I improve myself? How can I improve my life? So I think that's what it's about, but we shall see. Yeah, a lot of a lot of pentacles coming up, so I think you're in a you're in a very I don't think you're thinking about love at this point. It may be around you, it may want to come in, it may try to come in, but you are thinking very, very hardly at your stability and your financial abundance. And you do have a... You do have a new beginning in something that's clarifying this period of time, as I said, of thinking. And it, you do have... All of a sudden you get this great idea that you want to do something and you will do it there's determination here there's growing uh, you're going from the page of Pentacles to the knight of Pentacles uh, forward something you are moving forward and uh, it's gonna be very successful from the way things are looking so it's a brand new beginning in something 
uh, material, something uh, very earthly, something uh, grounded, something that's good for you, for your life, for your whole life, pretty much. Um, let's see what that is. Mm, with the Seven of Pentacles here, I feel like you're gonna start working on it and planting the seeds and then seeing, waiting for the results. So let's see what that is. Uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a struggle uh, getting to that place where you want to get to but you're gonna get there very very fast things are gonna be happening very fast uh, and they're gonna take you straight to the ten of pentacles um, that's the ideal place to be that's a very stable home uh, stable life um, you're not gonna have any kind of worries regarding your uh, finances in your stability so whatever you're thinking of go for it it's looking good and I want to clarify lastly this king of swords which I think in this case refers to you having to use your mind a lot in this situation you having to either study something or think about things very very accurately so let's see yep uh, you get the Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles so this is saying that the Hierophant can refer to either marriage and sometimes to uh, higher education, which is what I pointed to. And the Eight of Pentacles uh, shows me that you are, this is an ongoing work here. And the Six of Pentacles, it's showing like that it's balanced, it's uh, everything's on the right track. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of you putting in into work not into love there's a lot of financial things you're looking for here and you're gonna get them the way things are turning out you're getting there slowly but surely there was something in the past in regards to love maybe your head was wasn't in the right space maybe they were undecisive maybe i don't know who what the problem was here maybe you were too focused on your um uh building your finances your your life pretty much and they came in and they didn't have the patience for that or i don't know what happened in the past it's not looking like it's affected you very much it's not looking like it's taking you off course so it's looking like you are building something and it's looking like it's gonna work out whatever it is it's gonna be awesome so Gemini, that's what I have for you. Uh, I will see you next week. Bye.